Hi, I'm Dave Woodward from MGP, Maintenance Manager. I was approached about this project with Brian Melcher from CBT and also Brian Fields from ABB Dodge about uh, becoming a beta test site using some vibration sensors on some uh, bearing assemblies. Uh, I've been having a couple field failures. I've been trying to uh, integrate some more predictive maintenance programs. I went to Woody and proposed this to him. We decided on um, what bearings we were going to do for this application and we actually picked one of the most critical places in the plant to provide these bearing sensors because it's a flow through process and if this one place uh, which is actually a gas dryer goes down um, they lose batch and that creates a lot of product issues. One of the reasons Woody decided to do this was that he currently is doing vibration monitoring through an outside source and they do monitoring of these bearings once a month. Um, these sensors provided by ABB produce data every 15 minutes and so he gets a lot more accurate data more frequently than just a snapshot once a month. So pretty simplistic, it only took uh, about five minutes to install a sensor in a uh, predetermined bearing housing had already been pre-drilled, so probably five minutes till to get the Bluetooth actually actuating and, and uh, start uh, receiving data. The piece of equipment I installed it on, I have opportunities if I can get the uh, the production in a, in a certain way, I, I can take down that piece of equipment for about four to five hours without losing any productivity or, or quality problems, so this in turn can help me to get through those windows to make those repairs. One of the reasons he picked this equipment too is if these bearings catastrophically fail, he could be down for days instead of a predictive maintenance where he's down for four hours. The bearing sensors do provide vibration along with temperature and you can set uh, range limits so that you can get alerts via your cell phone or your computer within these limits that you've set so there, it's an alarm state that you set that window on. So another advantage of um, having the sensors in real time also is um, we can make engineering changes uh, on the fly. On this piece of equipment we can either speed it up, slow it down, we can change the load ratings uh, that we actually bring material in and out of the, the dryers. We want to change the way we're running the equipment. We're getting real-time data that supports uh, the changes that we're making whether whether they're good or bad. Yeah, this project is going gonna, is gonna to move forward. My goal would be to institute it within multiple areas of my plant. Right now I'm I'm doing vibration analysis on about 25% of my equipment. Working on the price of the sensors and coming out with the final cost on the sensors, I should be able to cover you know, three quarters of my equipment for the same amount of money and getting more real-time data instead of just snapshots monthly. The ultimate goal would be able to feed this data into my HMI system where it's at an operator level. So the operator would be able to see the trends themselves. It would be recorded in my historian software you know, with the alarm thresholds. That's when we, they can notify the maintenance that, hey, something's, something's trending the wrong way here and we need to take a look at this piece of equipment. I choose to work with uh, CBT for probably all my power transmission needs uh, and uh, they also support us with Alan Bradley electrical um, supplies too, but uh, I've, I've been working with them for uh, 10 to 12 years, a great working relationship uh, with multiple people inside the facility. I have a, a great uh, internal workforce, uh, great account managers and great outside work, workforce. So have some stuff break down in the middle of the nights or in the weekends. I've always been able to get a hold of somebody and get support to keep, keep my plant running.